Thank you, Madam President. Because it is the month for autism awareness, tonight we have a special resolution recognizing the executive director for Indiana, Dana Renee, for her dedication to autism awareness and support. Whereas Dana Renee graduated from the University of Minnesota with a BA in Business and Spanish in 1992, holds a certificate in e-business strategy from the University of Chicago, and is working to complete her Master's of Arts in Organizational Leadership. And whereas she managed large information technology projects for Duluth Consulting in Chicago from 1997 to 99, she launched for Duluth based in Portugal for clients throughout Europe in a telecommunications practice. And whereas in 2003, she founded the Luggage for Freedom program in Chicago. This program gathers gently used luggage, linens, and new toiletries that are packed for, by volunteers every six months and delivered to domestic violence shelters around the city. And whereas Dana's second son was diagnosed with autism at age three, in order to learn how to advocate for him, she volunteered for the fledgling Indiana chapter of the Autism Society of America. She soon joined the board and two years later took over as the executive director. And whereas, due to the lack of support and resources in Indiana, she set her sights on establishing the Autism Society of Indiana, ASI, as a statewide resource for families in need of education, support, referrals, and advocacy, and... Thank you, Councilman. Whereas, in 2008, she saw an opportunity to lead and expand on behalf of ASI, Indiana's Comprehensive Plan for Autism, and 2010 expanded ASI's relationship with the state of Indiana by forming a new autism advocacy and support program in Indiana Allies. This program has advocates for families located around the state who provide the critical education, support, referrals, and advocacy that families affected by autism so desperately need, and whereas then it was selected to be part of the 2009-2010 Leadership United Executive Women's Series and has certificate, certificate, certificate the Lacey Leadership Association LEAD program. Then it was also selected to receive 2012 Indiana Torchbearers Award, the state's most prestigious recognition for women and... <laughs> Whereas April is the uh, National Autism Awareness Month, now therefore... <laughs> Sorry, we're new at this. Be it resolved by the City County Council of the City of Indianapolis and of Marion County, Indiana. The Indianapolis City County Council recognizes Dana Renee for her dedication to autism, awareness, and support. The council extends its appreciation and gratitude and wishes continued success. The mayor is invited to join in this resolution by affixing his signature here too. This resolution shall be in full force and effect upon adoption and completion with IC 36-3-4-14. This special resolution was sponsored by Councilors Hickman, Barth, Adamson, and Robinson, and will be passed tonight by the City County Council. I so move. The proposal has been properly moved and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. The proposal carries back to the speakers. Thank you very much. I would like to introduce Dana Renee to you. Um, this is a very special person, not just to the autistic community in Indiana, but uh, also to the parents and the students. Dana? Thank you so much. I so greatly appreciate this honor and um, to be able to support people affected by autism around the state of Indiana um, from here in Indianapolis is truly humbling. Um, and I am pleased to see Griffin. Um, who we've met a couple weeks ago at the Autism Expo, so I think he's excited to say something. <laughs> well, I drew, I mean illustrated this book called My Brother's Artistic. It was written by a friend of my mom, Jane Webb, and I illustrated these, these pages. And take a look. Seriously. 
I wanted to uh, share a um, friend of mine, Mike Nichols is Griffin's father. I've been working with Mike in education for over 15 years. I knew Griffin when he was a baby, so I invited him to come out. I wanted to have uh, Mike take a moment to talk to you guys about, as a parent, I work with the kids autistic. So, Griffin, come on back up, man. Uh, have Mike talk to you guys briefly about, as a parent, working with an autistic child. Mike's a fellow educator as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. This is, um, thank you all. This is a great honor to speak about autism. Um, I'll try not to speak uh, too long. I am very proud of my son. You might notice that uh, on his, uh, the book he has illustrated, uh, the cover looks remarkably like this young man next to me. Um, and that is his brother. And he is more or less the narrator of the story. And this is my wife, Beth. And um, we're, we're very proud of Griffin. Um, he's, um, his, his book has been featured in the Star News. And I see that um, uh, a colleague, a friend of ours from Channel 6, is in the audience. And I would like to thank Channel 6. Um, they did a piece on Griffin in the book. And I would like to thank them for the dignity and respect that they showed him. Um, and I just, um, I, I can, forgive me, I could, I could prattle on and I'll try not to. Um, we would like to present this uh, copy of the book to you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, on behalf of all the work you do for autism and, and the families that have to face with this, um, I'd just like to close by adding that we are very blessed. Our son Griffin is very high functioning and very affectionate. Um, um, but there are a number of families who are not as blessed as we are, and any help that we can give to families with autism, any awareness we can raise, I know is deeply appreciated by all families. Thank you. Thank you so much. Councilor Simpson. Excuse me, um, Leroy. Councilor Robinson. <laughs> Councilor Robinson, uh, could you tell us where we can get that book at? It'd be a nice place to try to figure out where we can purchase that book. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Nichols, come up and advertise and promote your book here. Amazon.com. Um, you can call Barnes and Nobles and have it ordered. And I can't. Amazon.com. Yeah, Amazon.com. And the name of it is? It's My Brother is Artistic. Thank you. You're very welcome. The next item on the agenda is proposal number 80.